Hi everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are going to be adding addition equations again, but today we are gonna be deciding, can I make an additional 10 with what I have? So as you can see here, my first equation is 16 plus eight. And to save time, I already made the models or I placed the place value blocks so you can see it more visually. So for 16, as you can see, I have 110 and one, two, three, four, five, six ones. And for my additional eight, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more ones. So what I wanna do is I have to think when I'm adding, and in the future, you're going to be adding in a more traditional sense. That means we are going to be starting in a certain place. And that place is going to be our ones place. So here I have six ones. And then, of course, I have eight more ones. So I have to say to myself, hmm, can I make 10? Can I grab 10 ones out of six and eight more? Well, maybe for some friends that might not know. Let's count them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, we counted fourteen ones. So can we make a ten? Oh yes, because fourteen is greater than ten. So what do I want to do? What's my next step? So what I want to do, I want to take those ten ones. So watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I took those ten ones, and am I going to get rid of them? Am I going to change my problem? No. I want them to change into something else. And those ten ones can change into a 10 stick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put him over here to the side because I don't want to kind of mismash him in with my other stuff here. So this is the 10 that we made from the ones, okay, from our original problem. So here, I no longer have one 10 and six ones and eight additional ones. What do I have now? I have two tens and four ones. So let's see. What is our answer going to be? Let's count them. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 16 plus eight is equal to 24. Well, maybe for our people that out there that might not believe Let's get a hundreds chart and double check. So let me get my trusty hundreds chart over here. And I want to do 16 plus eight more. So here's my 16 plus eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at what we ended on. 24. There we go. We did it. All right, folks. Hold tight for another example. Okay, we're back. So let's take a look at our new equation. We have 32 plus six more. So let's see, hmm, can I make a 10 here? So let's look at my ones. I have two ones and then I have six more ones, all right. 32 plus six, let's see, can I make a 10? Can I change it up a little bit? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. You only got eight ones total. That's not as much as a 10. That's less than 10. Is that okay? It sure is. You can't always make a 10 every time, depending on what you're adding. So in this case, I'm not gonna be taking down any ones. There's no need. I'm just going to count everything straight through. So let's go ahead for my 32 here. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. 
33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So boys and girls, my answer here, my sum is going to be 38. Well, let's see. Let's head over to my chart and let's see if we could get another answer there. Will it be the same? 32 plus six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. 38. We did it again, folks. And that's okay. You don't always have, don't always have to make a 10. So stay tuned for one more example. Okay, boys and girls, and we're back. So we are looking at 55 plus seven more here. So here I have my 55, my five tens, my five ones, my additional seven ones. Oh, so now here comes the big question. Can I make a 10? Ooh, starting with those ones, I have those five ones. Seven more ones. Let's count them. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve this time. So twelve is definitely more than ten. So what does that mean? I'm going to grab ten of those ones and then see if we can make a ten. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did it. We did it. So now I'm not throwing those away. I'm changing them. I'm changing their look. They're going from ten little ones into a full ten stick. So I'm going to put him over here a little off to the side. That was my additional ten that I made. Remember, so nothing really mixes. So now, what do I have? So let's see. Let's count it all up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens and two ones. Oh my gosh, here we go. Let's count for the sum. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61. 62. Our answer, our sum is 62. So maybe for some of my non-believers or my friends that like to check their work, we are going to go right back into my hundreds chart and I'm going to look for my 55 and I want to count on seven more. So let me find him. Oh, he's right here. 55, seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We ended on 62. Just like the sum that we got up here, 62. Boy, oh boy, I hope you liked our little tutorial today on making a 10. And remember how it's really good to show your work too. Show those 10s, show those ones, because that really helps you to decide if really you could make that 10 or not. Boys and girls, remember, I always encourage you to practice at home and... I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye, everybody.